Welcome everybody to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines Green Power Scenario. In the previous episode we expanded the city a bit, but look at this. We have a lot of demand. And I'm thinking to give more population to our city and to continue with the green theme for this scenario and map, I want to create a commercial area with organic and local produce, whatever this is called, area, what do you call this, hmm. label, tag, zone, specialization, yes, that's the word I was looking for, I want to have an organic and local produce specialization somewhere around here, and I also want to have self-sufficient buildings around here, and we really we we expanded this industrial area too quickly but this gives me an excuse to move this industry area over here if you saw the last episode i was enjoying the view from here so much but then it's ugly and this is prime real estate we shouldn't have these buildings here so yeah I'm definitely going to move them here, but not on this episode. First, we need to... Ah, we need to... Expand the population, but I'm... Hmm, I'm thinking, because since we don't need industry, maybe this is a good opportunity to actually put some industry here. Because if I grow the population now, and then all of this... All these um, abandoned buildings get busy. It's not ideal, right? Now it's an ideal time to move the industry. Yeah, look at this. This is such a beautiful, or, or has the potential to be such a beautiful area of our city. And yeah, the more I look at it, the more I regret the decision of expanding, or put the industry on this side. I should have put the industry on this side, but oh well. I think we are still in time to fix this. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is to figure out the road layout. <laughs> My god, I'm afraid to touch this spaghetti. <sighs> but anyway, I was saying I want to have a road layout on this side of the road. Or I should say of the map. Yeah, the industry is here, kind of hidden between the this hill and the motorway. Yeah, yeah, but then how do I connect this to the rest? Because I have these roads here, that, and this one that kind of enable the not so much traffic from the industry to flow here. Yeah, and I think I'm going to do this in time lapse because I'm not sure how am I going to do this. But I'll figure something out, guys. I probably just need to connect some roads so I have, I have to have a road that connects to the city a road that connects to one side one direction of motorway and then the other yeah okay let's see what I can come up with
it is done so where to even start um so i wanted to create a simple industry road layout just very linear i don't like the um, the industry area to have like curved roads so this makes the the road layout quite easy but i wanted to integrate it with this thing let's call it a junction and um what i did is i used tunnels for this side so there is a tunnel that connects to this direction and another that connects to the other direction and the roads merge underneath and they connect here to this roundabout can we see the direction yeah so this is to enter the industry area and this one is to leave so this exit is quite easy because the motorway road is quite near and this one is also not too bad so in the end it wasn't too bad so from here they can connect to the other side and this road they can connect to both directions by using these two roads so yeah they can exit they can enter and then this road is to connect to the rest of the city because this is not going to be a highly populated area low density stuff it should handle the traffic and if not i can create another junction here just for the industry but that's kind of it it's not too pretty but it's i hope it is highly functional so the next step is then to dezone stuff from here and start zoning it over here okay i dezoned almost two-thirds of the industry here and now i zoned it here oh, i also put some commercial area over here yeah i had this blank space here that i felt it would look weird if it was completely empty and because i reckon i'll have a bit of residential residential commercial demand soon i decided to put the commercial here also because i normally use commercial everybody uses commercial as a buffer between the industry area and the residential area so let's pause the game and oh i need power i will need power here and i think i'm going to leave here the garbage collection the recycling centers but i'm also going to put at least one here and this will be used to connect the power without using power cables perfect perfect so this here is starting to disappear hopefully things power still is connected i don't need these power cables anymore come on guys leave yeah okay we don't have okay now we start to have a bit of demand because obviously we disowned a bunch of stuff i still don't want to start putting population here yet because this ground is still polluted so let's zone a bit over here let's zone here so people can move they want to move to our beautiful city so move oh oh oh, oh, oh. i want to create here i almost forgot i want to create here those um what's it called self-sufficient buildings zones so first i need to use this paint district tool let's see i will start from here yeah from here all the way to here and back it's going to be the self-sufficient buildings and the local produce commercial buildings okay it's a bit not too straight this zoning but hopefully it will be good enough yeah a bit more like this okay but i wonder how big of an impact this is going to make to the population growth i don't know if the building sizes are the same of these normal buildings meaning how many households i can put here for low density but we'll find out so now i need to tag this with self-sufficient buildings yeah there we go okay 
well how is the water situation not great so I should do something like hmm uh, it's better if I just continue this isn't it yeah I think it's better okay piping is done and I just noticed another thing which was my motivation to have the industry here I just remembered it's because of the water the water buildings because they create noise pollution and ground pollution or water pollution with this uh, maybe even ground pollution yeah this creates a bit but um, I might just move this to the other side of the river but mm, yeah because if I want to have this prime real estate having these things here even in the other side of the river is not going to look good is it but I think I need to do to do this baby steps first I remove the industry then I move this to the other side and then I figure out where to permanently move these water buildings yeah that's probably what I need to do okay we start to have some decent industry demand do I need to zone more? No, no, still plenty. Okay. How are we for power? Okay, we have plenty. I took to build a bunch of these wind turbines because I, I still had a lot of industry and so I had a big power demand while I was building this road layout in the time lapse. So that's why we have so many. And um Yeah, we just need we just need to give it time to grow. Okay, the relocation was successful shall i design this as well yeah let's do that just to speed it up hopefully i won't affect power maybe i will affect power i should do something like this and like this for now yeah okay more demand oh let's start with these new buildings shall we Let's zone these new buildings around here. Ooh, let's see. Okay, it's not too bad. These buildings kind of look the same I mean the same style they're not obviously exactly the same they're very similar these self-sufficient buildings okay so let's see the differences so this is five levels the first level has three households and uh, okay it seems to be the same oh one of one so this is low density but with different quantity of households in the first level okay hmm. okay it's probably similar it's probably the same amount of people what's the difference though Oh, they consume 30 percent less electricity produces less garbage and generates less money okay it's fine it's fine after the beginning of the game money isn't really a problem in city skylines just the beginning is always challenging let's take a look at, at the victory and losing conditions okay we are okay oh wow the ground pollution went down by quite a lot okay like i said I have less industry but still What's the level of these buildings? Yeah, only level one. Okay. Let's zone a bit more of industry here. And that's it. We moved the industry from here all the way to there. And I probably want to leave the garbage around here. I will create some kind of gap between these polluting buildings and everything else. Yeah, because it's good to have distributed garbage collection. To help distribute the traffic because sometimes i do enjoy quite like this massive garbage collection hub but then it makes it more difficult for traffic so i will create these 
these smaller hubs of garbage collection spreading spread around the city so that all these um, trucks the garbage collection trucks don't don't contribute too much to the traffic problems yeah and oh this is going to look good this is going to look good guys once I rework this area a bit not too much just have a bit too many roads here I still need to figure out the gap. I probably just leave this as a gap. Well, I want to destroy this anyway, so maybe this will be the gap. But anyway, I want to leave some kind of gap here and just build around it. Or maybe I don't even zone anything here. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll see. I'll figure it out later. I will expand the road layout here and then we'll reach the mile. When are we going to reach the milestone that unblocks the high density stuff? Where is it? Big town? Small city? Big city, no. It should already be, okay. Is it the next milestone? Busy town? Is it? No. Big town. Ah, it's big town, okay. I didn't scroll down. Uh, okay. So I think we'll hit this milestone, kind of will coincide properly, probably with me zoning all these bits. I might even try to expand a bit towards the mountain so I can optimize this space. And then as soon as we get to that milestone, then I'll start to expand the whole layout here. And my god, how am I going to connect this spaghetti to, <laughs> to there? <laughs> <laughs> the other side. That's going to be a fun episode, isn't it? Watching me suffer. I'm being punished by my own creation. Or I will be. But anyway, that's, that's for future me to worry about. And there you go, guys. We did the, the important bit that was to move the industry from that area that I... Yeah, the more I looked at it, the less I liked it. And the city is growing nicely. The spaghetti junction is working, but obviously it's still early days to say it's, if it's actually going to work with higher volumes of traffic. We'll find out uh, soon enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this calm, relaxing episode. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.